massive. This is cool. I feel like I'm on the Starship Enterprise. That was amazing. Okay, let's find somewhere to paint now. That's why we're here. That is huge. There's a big satellite over there. You kind of want to paint that, but it's a bit kind of overbearing. Uh, so I'll look at, there's some little ones over there. That's huge. It's like obnoxiously huge. Nah, nothing there. It's scary looking at it. That's the one we want. That's, it's, it's like um, Goldilocks, so like that one's too big. That one's not big enough. No, that's the, we just don't know how to get to it. Okay, we've got, we've got the big one over there, but over here we've got two. Two satellites that I can get in the painting and then it's all kind of framed nicely anyway in that little section. to mess about with this. Sturdy. Sorry about the audio. It is, it is really windy and we've lost the little fluffy bits on the mics, which we didn't think would be this much of a problem, but just bear with us. Right. I remember from last time that I said I needed to start trying to use less paint out of the tube straight away. Uh, so hopefully this is going to save me a bit of money in the future. Yeah, that's good. As usual, I'm going to get my composition drawing in. A bit big. I'm using the same one that I drew on last time. Saving stuff. And I'll just get the one in rather than the two satellites. I'm just going to go for the one. Okay. Happy with that. Put that there. Let's do it.
it's, again, it's that thing. So I'm finding it much easier today to lock in the values straight away because I'm building off the knowledge of the past ones that I, I had done. I mean, bear in mind, I was relatively new to plein air painting when we started this series. Every time I do it, I learn something new and get a bit better. just starting to come together and just getting the values in and um, that's in the middle there yeah so that's that yeah. tree why <coughs> have you chosen that but not that because that it's is complicated. too intricate yeah because you've just been trying to work out how it actually yeah sure, so <laughs> we can't tell work us out how it moves i can't tell you but in the actual no, indoor bit they've got um oh, yeah, a replica of the controls of how it, oh. This huge telescope in the background is the Lovell, 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 Lovell telescope. Um, lady we just spoke to, two lovely ladies, actually knew the person named Lovell. Um, so we'll have to find out some more information about him. And uh, they also knew Elon Musk. So if you are watching Elon, uh, please subscribe. I've put the satellite in when it was facing us. Uh, I didn't know it was going to turn around. <laughs> it's actually facing the other way now. Uh, so I don't know whether to wait for it to turn back around or... So the tree, the tree is my focal point. The focal point for me is the place where the highest value, so the, the lightest value and the darkest value meet. And I guess that's this tree here because it's got the dark there, the light there. Um, so the way I'm approaching it is trying to pull it forward by making it darker. If you want to push things backwards, you take certain colors out and leave the blues and stuff in. So that's what I'm doing with this tree. I'm just putting in the darks and then I'm going to go over it again in a sec with a few of the lighter greens. I don't know whether to wait for the dish to turn the other way and face us again so it looks like that, or just paint it from memory. It was pretty simple. I think I could get it from memory. Don't know. Ooh, a squirrel. So, I really don't think that telescope is going to come back around, so... I'm sort of just going rogue and winging it and doing it from memory. So I should be able to do it. I, re I remember that the shadow was all on, along the bottom. Some eagle-eyed watchers might have noticed that we didn't put out a video last week 
uh, but that was because I was busy doing a different sort of painting live at a wedding. Uh, so, and if you're interested, go and have a look at my Instagram at Josh Griffiths Studio. Drop me a message. So James, James just said um, something just blew his mind, which was I was putting purple in the grass. I didn't even think about it. When I was putting it in, it was bright purple, but I knew it was going to smooth out with the rest of the colours into this sort of purpley, uh, muddy colour, which is, is what it is now. And then James said, when I started doing it, he thought I'd gone mad. And then at the end of it, he was like, oh my God, yeah, it just works. So that's what we're aiming for. So what I'm doing at the moment is because the satellite turned around and James had taken a video of the satellite earlier, I'm using the, the picture from the camera to try and paint in as it was uh, and it's working out quite well. So there we are, uh, I'm really happy with it. We got the satellite in uh, over there, which turned around halfway and then never turned back. We did get it in with the photograph. Uh, so I'm really pleased with that. But yeah, I'm happy the way we've matched the values has been the best so far in my opinion. So it just shows that I'm learning each time. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.